hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to insert radio button values into your database in ASP.NET using C sharp after end of this video tutorial the output will be my name is Charan and I am selecting the gender male click insert Let's quickly switch back to the database. We'll check the inserted values Charan is added to the table or not. See here we got employee ID, employee name Charan, and gender is male. Before writing the coding part, let's check my database and the table. I'm using sample db. I'm expanding the sample db. For this example, I'm using the table dbo.rezemp. Let's browse this table. Right click, select top 1000 rows. And notice the reg emp table contains three columns emp id emp name and gender and emp id is a auto gendered column at this moment this reg emp table contains null values let's open the asp.net we'll write the coding part to insert values into this reg emp table for this video tutorial i have created a new project insert radio hyphen values I'm adding a new .aspx page, right click the project name, add new item, I'm selecting web form, and the name I'm giving radio insert, click add, now in this newly created ASPX page, I'm adding one text box control and two radio buttons between the form in the due tag name the text box control go to the toolbox text box break gender I'm adding two radio buttons here radio button one and radio button 2. The first radio button I am displaying the ID is radio male and the second one is female. Text male text female And the group name gender. Let's copy this and add to the radio button too. Also, break. I'm adding the button control. insert after adding the control switch to the design mode double click the insert button now the next step is to insert the values into a database we need the connection string properties let's create a data source connection string in the web.config file go to server explorer right click the data connections add connection the server name is user pc slash sql express the database name is sample db click ok And notice here we got the sample db.dbo connection string is added under data connections. 
right click the sample db.dbo go to properties grab this data source connection string go to solution explorer open the web.config file in the configuration connection strings add name my connection connection string in this connection string I'm pasting the data source property and the provider name is equals to system dot data dot SQL client after adding the connection string attributes in the web.config file let's go to radio insert dot code behind file I'm adding using system dot data using system dot configuration using system dot data dot SQL client in the button click event I'm adding a small code for the radio button values to insert string gender string dot empty if the radio button ID value radio mail one dot check gender is equals to male else gender f for female after adding a small code for the radio buttons now string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes I'm adding go to web.config file I'm taking the name in the connection string pasting here dot connection string SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL connection which takes a parameter of main connection string SQL query is equals to insert into the table name is dbo.emp this is a table name let's copy this and paste here the column names are emp name and gender emp name comma gender values at emp name at gender sql command sql com is equals to new sql command which takes two parameters one is a sql query and the second one is the SQL connections SQL com dot parameters dot add with the value between double calls at EMP name the first object value is a text box text box text box one dot text which is the employee name ID text box ID SQL com dot parameters dot add with value the second one is the gender copy this one paste here now in here the object value is a gender 
open the SQL connection dot open method SQL command dot execute non query method after that we'll close the connection string SQL connection dot close method that's it let's run this application in a Google Chrome we'll insert the values into this table click Google Chrome and here we got the output let's enter the name my name is Charan and I'm selecting the gender male click insert let's quickly switch back to the database we'll check the inserted values Charan is added to the table or not see here we got employee ID employee name Charan and gender is male that's it if you like this video please leave your valuable comment share this video and please subscribe my channel catch you on my upcoming videos